all right guys welcome back we are here at one of my home lakes pine flat i don't fish this lake very often but um you know snuck out to fish a little bit today did not want to come out too early because it was, it was really foggy when i got up in the morning i looked outside and it was too foggy so i waited until the fog cleared up and then i drove all the way up here it is about 2 30 right now so um got about i would say about two hours to fish before it gets completely dark here so uh you know it's still it's still winter so what we're gonna do is uh go and look for some spoon fish i got two rods on deck i got this spinning rod just in case and i got a spoon rod kind of glad i got out to uh, do a little fishing today so hopefully we catch one hopefully we don't get stuck it is the winter time so winter time is tough but this is one of my favorite time of the year to be fishing because we're gonna be fishing deep and looking for some spanish fish so yeah gonna put that spoon to work so stay tuned guys hopefully we catch them longer but look at the size of that spot <laughs> big old spot right there it's a good one for pine flat ah, good one man Put on that bigger six and a half inch spoon. You know, it can get down to them, they can see it better. That's a good three pounder right there. Three and three and a half. Fatty. Check that one out, guys. It's a good one. Fatty, too. The thing is I was throwing a smaller spoon and when you're throwing a smaller spoon it doesn't flutter as hard and these fish if you look these fish are way far back there under that pontoon boat and under these docks they're way over here with that bigger spoon it wants to flutter more so when I when I hit that dock right here it'll flutter all the way back to this those fish back there um I'm not sure you guys can see it but a little glare but yeah, those fish are back there, way behind that pontoon boat. The pontoon boat's right here in the dock, and they're just right under here. The cool thing about a spoon is a lot of people don't talk about it. It's action. What it actually wants to do is actually wants to swim backwards or at an angle. So if you pitch it up to a dock, you don't want to float away if you give it enough slack. If you give it enough line, it's going to want to swim away. So what I'm going to do is have this thing swim all the way to those fish. And that's pretty much what I'm doing, but... You gotta replay around with the spoons you buy because every brand is gonna be different.
That's what the spoon can do for you guys. Weird time. A big spoon like this. You get those big ones to bite. If anybody knows pine flat, this lake usually fish is pretty tough. It's a good fish right here. So I'm going crazy down there for it. It's another good one guys. Oh, it came off. Must think about fishing these big spoons. They get thrown pretty easily. Hey, it's a lot of glare, but you can see there's a lot of fish back there. Way behind that. I'm getting my spoon to swim all the way back there to hit those fish. This is a lot of fun, guys. <laughs> oh, a snag, that's why. This thing about throwing a big spoon, sometimes they don't get the hooks. So, I have a good one. That little guy. Catch them little dinkers all day long. It's going to long to get. He's a. Uh, Spoonfish aren't going, so I'm gonna go to the bottom and chop chop these little guys. That's actually pretty big one, okay. There's cats on the drop shot, too. These are the ones that are sitting at the bottom, just feeding on whatever's dying off. Not a bad one. playing buddy Look at this, one of those tournament fish. Bottom jaws all busted off, look at that. Yeah, poor fish. Another one. 
Look at all the shad these guys are spinning up. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for a quick trip to Pine Flat. It, it was pretty fun, you know, we, it was pretty successful. We ended up uh, not skunking, we caught fish. We, we did find a pretty big school. They were in between two big houseboats and there's a long dock right in between them. Uh, I stayed on the outside and I pitched my spoon back there. And there, those fish are really behind all that stuff. And uh, originally I started with a smaller spoon and uh, the spoon was not uh, getting to them. You know, it, it'll flutter, but it wasn't fluttering as far and it wasn't thumping as hard so i switched to a much more bigger spoon this is a, a nichols ben parker 6.5 uh, spoon the reason why i went with a much more bigger spoon uh, is because it, it wants to flutter um, further the spoon naturally wants to swim backwards when you pitch it up to structure uh, if you give it enough line or give it slack it actually wants to swim backwards uh, if you keep pressure on it, it think it will flutter down. But if you give it some line and you you feed it down, it's gonna it's gonna start swimming backwards. So that's what I was doing. I was pitching it to the stock, and those fish were back there, and this thing would just flutter all the way to them. And then that's when I'd get bit. And uh, it was a pretty big school, and uh, I, I I didn't stay on them too long. Um, they they just started dispersing after I caught a few. Um, you know, I, I'd see I'd hook into one, and all of a sudden all these fish would just come following with it, and then. Uh, they would kind of stay suspended after that then they would just kind of uh, you know disperse and disappear and There'll be like maybe five or six just hanging around uh, But those are much more harder to catch other than that We went and caught some drop shot fish which was nice really the highlight of the day was catching them on a big spoon You know, you, it's just a whole lot of fun throwing this big old blade good day of fishing for fishing for an hour and about 30 minutes You know the sun set pretty quick. Yeah, I think the uh, those fish were really tucked away back there is because the all, all the boat pressure out there you know these fish sense all this boat pressure they sense all this noise so they kind of just tuck away and hide uh, that's why those fish were all in the very back even though it was an overcast day you know you, generally an overcast day they'd just be swimming around and uh, out on the edges but uh, it wasn't like that they were just tucked away just kind of um, kind of hidden you know they're not really pushing they're not really chasing bait but they were around bait they're just not really busting them up but uh, yeah, if we went out there maybe on a weekday, we'd probably uh, knock their lights out and uh, do well. But hey, guys, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next one, guys.